Hey, I'm Summer Mae Finlay and I was covering the Canadian and Australian Indigenous Roundtable on Health and Wellness on behalf of Crokey, on behalf of the High Commission as well. So this is my little wrap up summary. For me, I found that the event was extremely, extremely productive. The two groups that were there, the Australians and the Canadians, both from um, universities as well as uh, First Nations organisations from both countries, really came together with a genuine intent to share and improve um, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander health and wellbeing. I mean, there was a couple of key messages that came out of it for me, which was around youth and the importance of youth engaging in the processes that affect them, but also around the need for the 97%, i.e. non-Aboriginal people and Torres Strait Islander people and First Nation people, to actually come to the party and recognise that their privilege is part of the reason that Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples in Australia and, and First Nations and Inuit people in Canada are actually in the situations that they are. And it's really not up to us to actually bring them along the journey, they're the ones that need to actually look at their own racism, the institutional racism and their strong health beliefs. Um, so it's one of those things that I'm still processing the event. There was um, talk of very sensitive matters like suicide, which of course is always something that is challenging. But it was talk of hope, talk of solutions and talk of way forward. So from my point of view, when we're looking at solutions and strengths-based, and there was a conversation about moving beyond the deficit, that we are looking to do something good. The other thing that came out of it is this, that this round table was fantastic, but of course we need more to be productive. We don't solve the world's problems overnight. So there is the aim to both look at how we can engage youth and also how we can actually bring both countries together on a regular basis to look at research and to look at service delivery and to look at policy. And that's the other thing that was discussed was research ethics, that we really need to have Aboriginal people in control of all aspects of research, but as well as policy and service delivery. So that's my very brief summary of the day and I'm gonna write an article about it. So please watch it at Crokey. Um, if you haven't seen it, please follow the tweets. There was a large number of tweets. Thank you.